Hi Cancer, this is your March reading. Please do check your top placements, so your other signs. And also check um, a few days ago, I think three or two days ago, I did a love reading. So you'll be able to check the current energies on that if you're interested. And also every day there's sort of a channeled message for your signs as well. So I check those out. Let's see whatever comes out for you in this reading. If you're new to my channel, you'll know that I channel as well as do the tarot just as a confirmation. So anything that comes for me, um, I will say it might be specific, only take what resonates. So having said that, I was getting a bit around self-care. So let's see if that is something that comes through for you. Um, I do channel a little bit of The next moon is Virgo. Yeah, I think you're going to... Virgo for Cancer, depending where your placements are. Let's get into your reading. So let's do recent past first. Four of Pentacles, please clarify. Emperor, strong cards, hangman. So in your recent past, you have been holding on to stability, possibly maybe some around your finances with the emperor this is very wise a very wise council that sits in you know is a leader here there's something that you've also needed to step back and just kind of allow things to flow where you can't control it this might be around your finances and your abundance um, let me get one more clar card to clarify this please the star is healing so where you've taken a step back, actually, it's brought you some healing and a balance in terms of your own physical and also I was getting self-care. So I, I, it's going to be interesting to see around your current energy, how that is. Now, as you know, I do also channel and um, I have specific messages that I get that I channel. I need to pull up my notepad um for each sign before that might be significant for some of you and i just want to see what we got for you okay. don't overthink too much or overreact someone's curious on what you're up to feel like you've grown up a lot and have a dis different perspective on things uh, you deserve good things. You could be dealing with a water or earth sign. You're possibly looking to change your diet or might need to do so. So I'll see if that comes up in your reading. With a star and he he a star card, I'm feeling a little bit of that. And you might be feeling like someone's been trying to compete with you. That's what was coming through for you. Um, Page of Wands. So here you've had, um, I feel like you've wanted to move into a direction and you've had the ideas, but you've really been frightened and you've held yourself back with the hanged man on these new creative ideas. Now, while you've had held yourself back, I also feel like this has been a good opportunity for you to um, do some self care and heal. Whether you've done that or not, that might be another situation. I'm also getting with this that no more negative self-talk or negative patterns. And as I say that in your current energy, we've got the Eight of Swords, which is really telling me 
you, you know, there is some negative viewpoints that are holding you back. Um, no more living in the past, thinking less of yourself, Cancer. Um, something may be a bit challenging here. You know, it's really strapping you, tying you down. You know, you need to get away and, you know, um, sort of step away from this. And I think it's you that's holding you back. Um, it could be that you also want to move or relocate. If some of you are thinking of that, it looks like it will be good for you. It, um, but I also feel with this, you're thinking things should be easy. And um, life is really a paradox, Empress. Life is a paradox. And there is no instruction manual that really helps us, um, you know, follow this and you're going to lead to your manifestations. You have to, th we have to think of things on our own. Um, the judgment card wants to pop up, which tells me, yes, make fair judgment. And what I'm saying is true. If, you know, figure things out on your own. That makes, makes you better. Um, and also better than anyone that's trying to compete with you, if that is still significant. You can do it on your own and you can provide for yourself more. Promise you're going to respect yourself and others uh, will also do the same. Promise yourself that you're going to also look after yourself, not let yourself down. The Empress doesn't let herself down. She knows who she is. If you're a divine male or female, it doesn't matter you know who they know who they are and um they don't break i don't know why i'm getting it don't break promises to yourselves and go back on your word keep in the trust of what direction you or promise you need to do for yourself the empress could also be someone i've got the king of swords as well so some of you could be in a relationship where you know, you're trying to develop and go to the next journey of your life. That could be pregnancy. It could be having a child. Uh, you need to start believing, though, that you deserve the things. Look, the full card in current energy moving into future. You start believing that you deserve the things you want. Start this fresh journey. Some of you, like I said, you could be moving. And if so, it's this is a confirmation for you that it's going to be a good move. You're going to move out of this. Um, some of you are being watched over maybe by, you know, an ancestor, someone who is a past loved one. Um, or, you know, you might be needing to take care of a loved one if this is not you stepping into your own self-care. Don't neglect your self-care in the process, regardless of what I've just mentioned, though, as well. Um, and with this fool, it's really saying you don't need to be the same as someone else or go on their journey. You need to understand you make you can make the choices uh, to take a different path and um, and be a different person. Let's get the current energy. And yes, it takes it takes courage. Um, to choose your path and maybe it's a different path and maybe it's one that's less traveled queen of wands very charismatic very confident moves in her own direction trusts in herself take action takes action she also has the sunflower the sunflower grows in the sun and it um doesn't stop growing in the sun and then it does stop until the sun comes out again it's it it's a very divine flower and she's also got this black cat here she's on her own if you look at her she's not really she's on her own journey there she's she's very confident in what she has she's having her sunflower her own cat um and the black cat could be a lo lucky totem for you or some of you may have a pet that is actually a lucky totem for you. Um, it takes wisdom to listen to yourself. Four of Wands, as I say, that takes wisdom to listen to yourself and move into this fresh ground. Trust each step that you're going to take that's going to lead to this 
stability, some form of celebration. Again, if it was to do with a relationship you've been working on, it's coming into union, you will be developing into that next stage. Make the decision that suits you the best. Look at this. Allowing you to be the best self, no matter how challenging it is. It's challenging. Look at that. It's challenging to move away from this. But ultimately, as I'm channeling and saying that, it's telling you it's the right thing for you to do. But also don't look back because it's your future. The fuel coming, you're coming into the fool right now to move away from this. But here, don't look back when you get, when you start this movement of the Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands card, because you will be moving away from this energy. And also, um, I feel like there's a confirmation page of swords. There's a confirmation here that the person on your mind is missing you, um, whether whether you are in separation or together. The love is there. This is also. Possibly if you're single, someone's spying on you, seeing as I'm talking about love. It could be a crush and you're probably going to get communication from this person. Um, you know, um, I really feel heavy Gemini, Aquarius and Libra energy here. You could have placements in those in those areas as well. There's something in your future that you might feel very uncertain of um, around, you know, the movement. Maybe this journey that you're going to take is going to be a ebb of flow where you can't always see the outcome, which is going to maybe try to deter you off your path. You have to start believing in yourself. Like I said, you need to stand your ground even in the moments where you value and question and you can't see things um, in a certain way. And you can't expect others to believe in you if you're not also believing in what you deserve. If you pull back as soon as pressure is applied, you have to, it's not going to work out. Others will constantly try to convince us um, of, you know, of how you know, what journey we need to take and convince us to lowball ourselves and that we can't do it, compromise. But your worth is not something that's up for negotiation. And you can take it or you can leave it. But I think here it's telling you step into the confidence. You don't have to take everything with you as well. Don't feel like you need to go on this journey taking everyone with you to win. No, pick yourself up, free yourself of those swords and move in this journey. I know it's scary. I know it can be uncertain. Look at this, the ebb and flow of life. Like I said, cycles close, cycles open. And this is, gonna, this is showing you a cycle is closing and something new is opening for you. A new perspective, this new journey is opening for you. And it's just about making sure you stay on track with your beliefs, what you believe you're entitled to. And you could be dealing with a Taurus Scorpio. Leo Aquarius, I felt a heavy Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in, in, in this reading. Um, let yourself daydream and dream and the universe is going to surprise you with the closing out and helping you on this cycle. And I mentioned there's an ancestor or there's a healing energy person around you. It could be your pet. Um, but again, miracles can happen at this time, any place, any time. It's about those bigger than life generosity that the universe make up, makes up for the previous hurts that we've had with these swords that you've got here and the uncertainty. Um,
I really feel the only thing holding you back will be yourself. Let's pull some cards from this deck. Yeah, it, it's yourself that you might have the self-doubt. Wisdom. Wisdom is trusting your calling, trusting your gut, trusting your heart, being this wise counsel to move forward in where you want to go, where you want to be. Gossip is around appreciation of the things around you. Notice how it's all heart-centered. It's green. Gossip is around appreciating little things around you. Maybe this there is with the swords, the five of swords and the seven of swords, there's definitely been deceit and deception around you. And I think you need to move away from it. But there are people around you that maybe you don't see them seeing it in the same perspective of you. If they're holding you back, they're not your people. If they are not holding you back, and maybe you need to look at it, things from their perspective. Wisdom, you know, you're wise and you know what you need. You know if they are, if they are genuine, if they are your people, you have that feeling in your gut and heart. Trust it. Dis, dis, uh, dissipating it's weird gossip and dissipating is coming out quite a lot in the last readings and this is really about around procrastination to take action and I think it goes back to I think we have the page of wands in the middle here in your current page of swords here it's about the fear that I, I mentioned about not wanting to look because you know, sometimes when we look, we become overwhelmed to take action and it fears us and we become stuck. So it's kind of like ignoring it. I'm going to watch the telly. But if she looks here, this canary, again, I think there's a pet or a, a lucky totem around you who's guiding you and protecting you. But this canary is really more valuable to her than the TV. This canary who she's ignoring is actually going to help her take action. This could be the people that I'm saying, have a look. See if they are actually the people that you're seeing them in the right light or not. Uh, maybe they're the right people for you. Maybe they're not. You need to make that judgment and you can with this wisdom. Well, this is about procrastination, but I also feel there's a fear here to take action. And so that's what you really need to do. Solar plexus. But there's some heart centered. Very interesting. I said connect with your heart and your gut. Solar plexus and heart chakra have come out for you, Cancer. Um, I'm just going to pull a card from here because your reading is very straight to the point, to be honest with you. But I want to pull a couple of car a card from here and I want to see if a particular energy comes out. If it does, I'm going to tell you what the energy is that I wanted to see if it comes out for you. Adjacent possibilities exactly what I wanted to pull out. I was wanting to pull out, are we going to get possibilities, opportunities coming in, or is there going to be a love connection? And it's just left me with adjacent possibilities. It could be love. It's on this new journey. New things are coming for you. Now, interestingly, this is a sixth, so it also answers my question. There is a deepening of love within, whether it's new opportunities or not. There's a soul connection coming in for you or you're going to renew uh, a connection to a deeper level but this is about adjacent possibilities of you on your path on your quest on your journey whatever you're trying to work towards it's beautiful that actually that came out and it's exactly what i just wanted to sum up for you and hopefully this stops you from fearing to take action and go forward believing you are worthy Let's pull you a spirit animal card. I really feel the pet is significant. Um, 
some of you have a pet, it's very dear pet to you. Um, maybe it's a past pet. And as I say that, the hawk, which is the messenger, comes through. Beautiful, let's see what it says. Spirit is sending us messages. Open your great vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities. Eliminate distractions. You have the bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. That is just so beautiful. It's telling you, believe in yourself. This new journey that you're going to take is just a bright future for you. And if you've not seen my reading on angel themes, numbers, guides, past loved ones giving you signs, how to read signs, how to understand signs, how to pick a sign that's significant for you, do look at that because it's going to help you identify work with your angels and spirit guides and then you can know exactly when that sign comes in very big energy here a six is going to be significant possibly for you um but more so the pet is significant for you if you don't have a pet i'd say look out for a black cat that is not bad luck i know it is in some some areas and also once you check the angel readings i will link it in the description box below um once you pick or see a number that signifies five is big for you five was the number that was big for you six was the soulmate energy five i think i was getting that was big for you change um so that's huge for you cancer if you liked this reading please do let me know please let me know if it resonated with you if you want personal reading you can contact me on my email the description is always in the email box below um, for whatever reading you want my website's being updated it is up there but you, you know it's being updated so that um, the services can be just selected and booked but you can contact me for personal readings whether it's a one number a one card pull full-on readings energy healing uh, online or um, blocks of your manifestation and energy or body and physical healing also energy um, healing via a video or phone call which is a, uh, a video or a phone of a discussion around your healing needed otherwise something very similar to reiki that i do in terms of energy manifestations yeah there's there's a lot so whatever one you need um you can send me an email let me know we can see how we take it forward um other than that any love you show the channel and me for my energy that i put into the readings apart from just tarot cards uh channeling for you um i would appreciate it take care of yourselves until the next reading bye for now